So coming up here is a fairly extended section that was in the original cut, um, where um, we had a scene where Ender first was in the dining hall, or the mess hall, if you like, and we met Bonzo early on and saw the way these young people are fixated on these games that they play on the boards and so on. Um, uh, there you meet Fly Morlo, uh, even a brief moment with Petra for a second. Um, there we are, and here comes Bonzo's ego, always the guy who has to win, win, win and show off about it. Um, tremendous amount of ego for this young Napoleon. And Ender just taking it all in and trying to figure out what on earth kind of world have I landed in. This notion in the military of um, not looking into the eyes when you're a new recruit, not looking into the eyes of a, a senior a trainee or an officer uh, initially is just designed to humble you and uh, keep you humiliated as you are sort of drummed down into being a, a nothing from which they can build you up. Um, but the more interesting part of this scene and the piece that I was actually most sad to lose was the piece that's coming up now, whereas he's sent to the back of this uh, mess hall, he's forced to sit facing away from the group with this character called Mick, which is um, delightfully played here um, and very sadly not in the final movie, um, despite the fact that the, the performance by this young actor is fantastic. Um, and what I found really compelling about this scene was it spoke to a, a section, a, a theme in the movie of leadership and the various ways that people respond to the, um, to the challenge of being asked to lead um, in a military situation, and for that matter, in any organization. Here, Mick is someone who's found himself in a situation that he thinks is really not for him. And so he does everything he can to just get out of it. And he gives a line here that's very powerful that actually Ender repeats much later on in the film um, against Colonel Graf after the, the injury of Bonzo. Um, he says, um, he says uh, you know, if you, don't, if you don't like it here, stop cooperating. Uh, what are they going to do, spend millions on a loser? Um, and, and Ender's horrified that this guy should have so little interest in doing what needs to be done to help um, in the war effort, if you like. And that is because at this point in his life, Ender is still suffering from something that I think many of us do as young people, which is a need to please authority, a need to be approved of by authority, and a need to fit in. And, uh, and Mick's had enough of all that. And then here, he's obviously troubled by what Mick said, missing his sister, feeling very much isolated from the entire group. And it was just a nice moment to spend quietly with this little guy and feel what it would be like to be far away from family um, and, and cut off from, from friends and especially the person he loves most in the world, Valentine. Um, while we're on it, uh, you'll see on another deleted scene the way this theme of leadership comes up again. Um, with, with uh, Dink in the scene in the showers where he talks to Ender, but we'll talk about that when we get to that scene. As I say, I was quite sad to lose these sections. Um, there was, my original cut was about 15 minutes longer than the final cut that the studio finally approved, and you can hear from my voice that I'm still, still not sure whether I, I should perhaps have fought harder for some of these scenes to stay, but I'm really pleased that they're here on the DVD for you guys to see. You can make up your own mind. Again, this scene is a more lyrical and, and quieter approach to a discussion about the formic threat. The idea was that you keep the threat away from the knowledge of the kids. It's only something that the adults are discussing, and the kids are simply used by these adults to do what the adults have decided needs to be done. So um, forgive the bad previews here. You obviously know from the real film that the image here became something much stronger and does appear um, in the scene where Sir Ben Kingsley Mazarakam shows Ender um, what the formics look like.